Hi, this is Shreng Siddharth once again. Welcome to the next part of the inheritance video in Java. So, please make sure you have followed my previous video. Then only this video will make some sense. So, let us now quickly jump on to the IntelliJ IDE and let us start coding. So, here inside the IntelliJ IDE, I have simply created two classes, class of dog and class of cat. Now, here I have string color and breed. And I have two methods such as eat and bark. Right, and inside the cat class, I have color, age, and these two methods of eat and meow. Now, this breed is actually the property of the dog, and this bark method is actually property of the dog as well. Similarly, cat has age property and mew property, but both of them are having two properties in common, such as eating habit here as well, and also the color of the dog and color of the cat. So in our application of Java demo, these two lines of code are actually redundant. So here I need to optimize my code, such as using the concept of inheritance in Java. So here what I will do, I will simply create a class of animal. And now inside the class of animal, I will simply cut this statement from here and paste it here. And similarly remove the string color from here as well. And now this eating habit is actually common to both. So I will cut it from here and paste it inside the animal class. And similarly, let us remove the eating habit from the dog as well. Now, this dog should have the property of color and eat as well. So we need to apply the concept of inheritance as discussed in the previous video that dog should inherit the property from the animal class as well. So here I will simply use extends space animal right and here in case of cat as well we will use extends animal so now both cat and dog inherits all the properties from the animal class so this cat is actually the subclass or the child class and this animal is actually acting as the base class super class or the parent class always remember this right and now here Inside the main method, suppose I create a dog object, right? So this dog has the capability of, let's say, bark. Dog has the capability of, let's say, eat, right? And also I have some variables as well, such as dog dot color, let's say, equal to black. And I have dog dot breed, let's say, equal to labra, right? Now similarly for the cat as well, I have some properties such as cat.mew, eat, color equal to brown and age equal to 10. So in this way we can simply reduce the code by using the property of inheritance in Java, right? And now what will happen if I try to create the object of animal? Let's say animal space animal equal to new animal. And now this animal has just the property of string color and it has the activity of eating, right? So the animal has just the color and eat. But do we have the possibility to use breed, bark method as well and age and mew method as well? The answer is no, just because the animal is the parent class, not the child class. So this parent class just has two properties, the color and this method of eat. So when you create the object of animal, then you can simply use animal dot, let's say color, let's say x, y, z, any color and then animal dot eat and that's all. You don't have any other possibility of using the meow method and the bark method. These are the only two properties of the animal and using the concept of inheritance, we have simply got these two properties inside the cat object and this dog object. So this completes the demo for the code reusability. But now let us come to this part for method overriding. So let me explain you what is method overriding in short in this video itself. But later on, I will talk about this concept in deep detail. So here this animal is the super class and this dog is actually the child class or the subclass, right? Now suppose here inside the eat method, I have let's say some code such as animal eating, right? And now suppose if I call let's say 
dog dot eat method with the help of this object then what will happen is that this statement will be executed inside the animal class so just to avoid confusion let us do one thing let us remove the cat class from here and also the code from here as well and let us keep the dog object code here class animal and this dog class that extends from animal so if i currently run my code then this method will simply trigger this method present inside the animal that is the parent class so here inside the output console we get animal eating but hey just now i called dog dot eat not animal dot eat i want to print dog is eating not animal eating so for that here comes the method overriding concept into picture so what i will do is that inside the dog class what i will do i will simply override this method right and here what i will do let's say public void eat method so when i use this method and inside this method let's say i will call s out dog so when these lines of codes are executed and specifically when this statement will be executed dog dot eat then the compiler will give more priority to this method of eat instead of this method of eat present inside the super class right so if i run this code right now it will simply print out dog eating so inside the output console we got dog eating instead of animal eating and now you must be thinking hey i want to print this statement as well along with dog eating so what do i have to do because this code is currently useless and we are not able to print anything present inside the eat method inside the animal class we are just able to print this statement present inside the child class of dog right so what i will do is inside the subclass inside the eat method i will simply call super dot eat fine so this super keyword is actually representing this animal class so super dot eat will simply call the method of eat present inside the super class here right so here is the sequence of execution process when this statement is executed it will simply give more priority to the eat method present inside the dog class so in return this method will be executed right and when this method will be executed it will simply call this super dot eat method so as soon as this statement is executed it will simply call the eat method present inside the animal class or the super class so this statement animal eating will be executed and soon after this the execution will return here and then this statement will be executed dog eating so let us now run our code so here in the output we get animal eating and dog eating right so both the things are getting printed now suppose the user want to print dog eating first and animal eating later so what to do in that case so here in that case you can simply cut this statement from here and paste it just below it right so that when this method will be executed first dog eating will be printed and then super dot eat method will be called that will simply print this statement animal eating right here so let us now run our code so here we go dog eating and animal eating so this is all about the inheritance in java and in this video we also learned about the method overriding in java how we can override the method and then modify it right so i hope the things are now clear in your mind and now again i will tell you to please subscribe to this channel like comment and share the video thank you this is shrek from smarthood signing off and catch you guys in the next video thank you